So now you've got Proxmox installed and you want to virtualize a Windows guest machine. There might be many reasons why you want to virtualize a Windows machine in Proxmox. Well, today I'm going to show you how to set up, install, and configure a Windows virtual machine within Proxmox. So the first thing you want to do is get the installation media. Microsoft's made this really easy to get ISOs from them, and that's what we'll need for Proxmox. So what we'll need is the Windows 10 media creation tool. After you find that, download and run it. So we'll download the tool. We'll run it. Next, we'll walk through the wizard. Agree to this if you want. Next, it's gonna ask us what we wanna do with this media creation tool. We wanna to actually create an ISO and not install Windows right now. So choose this option, create installation media. It's gonna ask you which edition and which architecture you want. You should pick the edition that you have a key for, and the architecture is gonna be 64-bit for Proxmox. Next, it's gonna ask if it's a USB drive or we're gonna create an ISO file. We wanna create an ISO file. Next, it's gonna ask you where we wanna save it. We'll just save it to our desktop. So this might take a while depending on your download speed. Once it's done, it's gonna ask you to burn this disk, but we don't need to burn this disk. Just take note of where it's at. Click Finish. Okay, so let's go out to our Proxmox virtual server, and we wanna create this virtual machine. The first thing we'll need to do is upload this ISO to our storage. So pick your storage device. Mine's called Local Galaxy, but yours may vary. If you've been following this guide, it's probably called Local PVE. Once it's selected, we'll upload the ISO we just created. So choose Upload, ISO Image, find the file, and we'll upload. Once it's uploaded, we'll need to grab one more thing, the Vert IO drivers. The Vert IO drivers for Windows and Proxmox allow us to configure some additional services. It also gives us drivers too for our network device and our hard drive. So we need to download this ISO and then upload it to our Proxmox server. Don't worry, I'll have a link in the description where you can download all of these drivers. So once you get to the Fedora project, you'll want to scroll down and you'll see a bunch of links for direct downloads. You can choose stable or latest. I normally choose latest. So we'll grab the latest Vert IO Win ISO. Once that's finished downloading, we'll go back to our Proxmox server and upload this ISO to the same place we uploaded the Windows ISO. So we'll go to our drive, choose content, and we'll upload this. Make sure the ISO image is selected and upload this Vert IO ISO. Now that we have both of these uploaded, we can create a virtual machine. So select your node. Mine's called Galaxy. Yours is probably called PVE if you've been following this guide. We'll wanna right click and create VM or a virtual machine. Here we'll give it a name. I'm gonna give it Windows 10. For the OS, we're gonna select the Windows ISO. Make sure the guest type is also set to Microsoft Windows. And the version should be 10. For system, the only thing we're gonna change here is the QEMU agent. We're gonna turn that on. For hard disk, Proxmox recommends a SCSI device, so let's choose that. S SCSI. Then we'll choose our storage location for this hard drive. For me, it's the SSD RAID 10. Then we'll choose disk size. For this Windows virtual machine, I'm gonna give it 60 gigs. 60. And for cache, Proxmox recommends write back. Next, CPU. Give it as many cores as you like. I'm gonna give it 24. You can change this later. For memory, we can set the minimum and maximum amount of RAM that this virtual machine will use. This is called ballooning, where we tell the virtual machine to use at minimum one gig of RAM and at maximum eight gigs. So let's set that. 1024 is one gig. 8192 is eight gigs. On network, the only thing we'll change here is our model. I'm gonna change this to the Vert IO version and we'll install the drivers for that later. And now we'll just need to confirm everything. Don't tell it to start just yet. We need to configure one more thing, so just click finish here. So once it's configured, you'll see a number along with a name. So the number is an internal ID that Proxmox uses to identify this system. And next to it is the name that we gave it. So this one's 106 Windows 10. So before we start it, let's configure one more thing. Remember how we downloaded those drivers? Well, we're gonna need those during the install. 
we'll have to install another CD-ROM drive so that we can load the BERT I.O. drivers during installation. So here's how you do it. Click on Hardware. We're going to click to add a new device, CD-ROM drive. Just change it to IDE and then change the ID. Click our storage and then select the BERT I.O. disk. Click Create. So now you see we have two virtual CD-ROM drives one that holds Windows 10 installation media, and one that holds the BERT I.O. drivers. Okay, now we can start this machine. Right click, go to start. Once it starts up, we'll follow a normal installation of Windows. So click next, click install now. Here, we'll input our Windows key. This is your key to install Windows. If you don't have one, you can click I don't have a product key and do it later. However, Windows will be running in a reduced functionality mode. So let's input our key, and then we'll click Next. If you agree to the terms, check this box. Here we're going to choose a custom installation. So you notice we don't have any hard drives. That's because Windows doesn't install this virtual drive controller that we're using. That's why we downloaded the BERT I.O. drivers. So let's load drivers and browse to our virtual CD-ROM. Choose the BERT I.O. disk. We're going to need to load quite a few drivers. Let's do them like this. So first, let's load the drive controller drivers. So we'll scroll down. See Vert IO SCSI, choose Windows 10, AMD 64, click OK. Let's load these drivers. OK, we see our hard drive, but let's load some more drivers while we're at it. Click Load Driver, browse back to our disk. We're going to choose NetKVM, Windows 10, AMD 64, and choose Next. So this is going to load our network adapter driver so that we can download updates while we're installing. Next, let's load our memory ballooning drivers. So we're going to browse back out to this drive. Balloon. Windows 10. AMD 64. Click Next. Okay, so now we're ready to install Windows on this virtual hard drive. Click Next. This is going to take some time and it's going to reboot, but we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to continue installing Windows. So choose your location, choose your keyboard layout, skip. So this is all typical Windows install stuff. So I'm setting this up for personal use. Here, I'm just going to create an offline account. Microsoft's going to nag me like 15 times to make sure I want to make an offline account. Techno Tim. And a password. Confirm. Security questions? No. No. You should probably fill in appropriate ones here. I'm just doing this to get past this screen. No. No, Cortana. Choose your privacy settings that suit you. Here's mine. And Windows is booting up for the first time. This step might take a while too. Okay, so Windows is running. There are a few more things we need to do related to drivers and performance for running Windows on Proxmox. So let's go into the device manager and install any drivers it missed. So right click the start button, go to device manager. And it looks like we're missing a device here. So let's install the driver. Double click this, update driver, browse. Browse to the CD-ROM with BERT I.O. drivers. Say OK here. Say Next. So it's going to search this disk and install drivers. Say Yes. Install. OK. So it looks like we have all of our drivers. The next thing we're going to need to do is install the guest agent. So let's browse out to the disk. Guest agent. Install the 64-bit version. Say yes. OK. Let's shut down the machine. After the machine shuts down, let's start it back up. Let's go into Summary. And right now, you can see that the guest agent isn't running. That's because Windows isn't booted yet. But let's make sure we get this IP information once it does boot. 
Let's go into console, watch it boot up. So it's booted. Hopefully we have the guest agent information. And we do. So this means the guest agent is running on this machine. So we'll have better performance now. Let's go back in the console. Let's sign back in. And we're done. We have a Windows machine running on top of Proxmox. So this guest machine is virtualized inside of Proxmox. We can run this virtual machine just like we would a desktop PC. If you want faster performance and instead of going into the console, you can turn on a remote desktop or RDP protocol and remote desktop into this machine. It will give you almost the same performance as if you're sitting in front of the machine. If you want to turn it on, here's how. Click start, type in remote desktop, go into remote desktop settings, and we want to turn this on, confirm. So now remote desktop is turned on in this machine. So now let's open up remote desktop on our machine. Same thing, Windows remote desktop connection. And we'll put in the IP address of this system. Say yes here. So now we're using remote desktop instead of VNC and we'll have near native performance here. You can see how much more performant it is. When you select, when you drag, everything runs so much smoother. So that's how simple it is to install a Windows guest machine on a Proxmox host. If I missed anything during this installation, let me know in the comments below. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, stream on my friends.